Okey, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okey. Is uh, the video for chapter 2.3 quadratic and cubic equation. Okay, so at the end of this lecture, so then we'll be able to solve quadratic and cubic equations, solve equations involving sets that can be transformed into quadratic equations. Okay, so first we look at 2.3.1 about quadratic equation. Okay, as usual, we have a quadratic equation that has the highest degree of x square, where the a cannot be equal to 0, plus bx plus c equal to 0, and a, b, c, a, b and c is the element of our real number, and a cannot be equal to 0. Okay, so from that general equation, a general form, we do a completing the square method, okay, on the equation. Okay, we factorize out the a from the equation, and then finally, we will have the equation in this form x plus b over 2a equal to plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So, therefore, finally, we have this x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Okay. This equation is called as the quadratic formula. Okay. This quadratic formula is to find is used to find the root of the equation if the equation cannot be factorized. So that's mean uh, if you do factorization from your calculator, you find out that the answer for the value of x has a very long decimal points. Okay. So instead of using that method, so you need to use uh, this quadratic formula to find the value of x. Okay, let's look at an example. Our example a, which is 2x square minus plus 3x minus 4. Okay, from this equation, we can identify that a is equal to 2, b equal to 3, and c equal to negative 4. Okay, then we base on the equation of quadratic that is x equal to negative b plus minus square root of 4, sorry, square root of b square, b square minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so we substitute the value into the equation, so that gives us negative 3 plus minus square root of 3 square minus 4, 2 negative 4 over 2, 2. Okay, so from here we will have negative 3 plus minus 9 plus 32 over 4. And lastly we have negative 3 plus minus square root of 41 over 4. So, from here, we can calculate that we have two answers, one for a positive square root and another one is for negative square root. So, the answer gives us equal to 0 0.8508 or negative 2.3508. So, this is the root for the uh, equation 2x square plus 3x minus 4. Okay, another example, which is example B, 3x square plus 2x minus 5. Okay, we substitute the value of A, B, and C into the equation. That is A, 3, B equal to 2, C equal to negative 5. So, we have X that is equal to negative 2 plus minus... 2 square minus 4, 3 and negative 5 over 2, 3. So we have negative 2 plus minus, we calculate the numbers under the square root and that's give a square root of 64 over 6. Okay, so from this, we have two answers for the value of x. That is from 1 or negative 1.667 okay 
Okay. Uh, next example, uh, which is 3x square minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0. Okay, we want to find the value of x from this equation. Okay, so we follow the equation of quadratic formula. So we have here our a equal to 3, b equal to negative 5, and c equal to 4. Okay. So, from the formula, we can see that x will be equal to negative, negative 5, plus minus square root of negative 5 square, minus 4, 3, and 4. Okay, so that it will be over 2, 3. Okay, then we solve it. It will be uh, positive 5 plus minus square root of negative 23 over 6. Okay, so from here, we know that we cannot uh, square root a negative number. So, what we can do is that we need to know that imaginary, imaginary number. Imaginary i is equal to square root of negative 1 from a topic of complex number. So, it will be equal to 5 plus minus square root of negative 23. We factorize out that negative 1, sorry. So, right here will be uh, 23 bracket negative 1 over 6. Okay, then we know that i will be equal to square root of negative 1. So, we can substitute this equal to i. So, then... We have 5 plus minus square root of 23i over 6. Okay, so now this is our final answer. Okay, just now we have seen uh, about quadratic equation. So now let's move to 2.3.2 about cubic equation. 2.3.2 about cubic equation. Okay, so cubic equation exists in the general form of ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. Okay, the highest degree of x must be in the power of 3. Okay, so x, so a cannot be equal to 0 and from that we know it is a type of cubic equation. Okay, so in this sub topic, we will learn how to factorize a cubic equation since it is in the degree of power of 3. Okay, for example, example A, we have P x equal to 2 x cubed plus 9 x square plus 7 x minus 6. Okay, it is in the degree of power of 3. So what we need to do first, we need to guess the first one of the factor for this equation. Okay, and then once we know the factor, we need to do a long division so that the de degree can be reduced to the power of 2. Okay, how can we guess the factor for this equation is we look at the D of the cubic equation. Okay. So, our example A has a D that is equal to negative 6. Okay. In order to find the factor of Px, we need to find the factor of the negative 6. So, negative 6, factor of negative 6. So, that, is, that will be neg positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, and positive negative 6. Okay. So, we have to try out one by one by using a factor theorem. Once we have it equal to zero, so that means that number is the factor of the equation. So, first, let's try P positive 1. We substitute 1 into the equation. So, we have 2, 1 cube plus 9, 1 square, 7, 1 minus 6. So that's give us 2 plus 9 plus 7 minus 6. And the 
final answer will be equal to 12. So, it is not equal to 0. Then, P1 is not a factor of the polynomial. Okay, next we try with negative 3. So, we substitute P negative 3 to negative 3 cube plus 9 negative 3 square plus 7 negative 3 minus 6. Okay, so from here we have negative 54 plus 81 minus 21 minus 6 and we have it equal to 0. Okay, so based on factor theorem, when we substitute a number into an equation and it give equation uh, equal to 0, so that means that number is a factor of the equation. So we have negative 3, so that means we have x plus 3 is one of the factor for px factor of px okay so what we do next is to perform a long division we take x plus 3 as the divisor okay we take the px over x plus 3 so that is equal to x plus 3 Okay, then we have 2x cubed plus 9x square plus 7x minus 6. Okay, so first let's do the long division. So first we take 2x square. So we have 2x cubed plus 6x square. So we do a subtract. Sorry, that one we have 3x square and plus 7x. We bring the 7x down. And then we plus 3x. So that gives us 3x square plus 9x. Okay, and then another subtraction. So that gives a negative 2x minus 6. So we multiply with negative. So, we have negative 2x minus 6 and then we have no remainder. So, that is tally with the factor theorem that we just did before. Okay. So, from this method, we can now can say that x plus 3 multiply with 2x square plus 3x minus 2 will be equal to px okay now we have px in two bracket one is one of the factor and another one that is in the in the degree of 2 2x square plus 3x minus 2 okay so for 2x square plus 3x minus 2 we can uh, factorize that one so once we factorize we have the answer that is x plus 3 2x minus 1 and x plus Okay, so that means from here, we can know the value of x and we have already factorized the polynomial of px. Okay, we move on on the next example of function fx equal to 3x cubed plus 17x squared plus 18x minus 8. Okay, so... We look at, at the last number of fun the function that is negative 8. And the factor of negative 8 is plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4 and it can be plus minus 8. Okay, so what we need to do is to perform a trial and error. Okay, so by trial and error, we first try f negative 1 so so we try 3 uh, negative 1 cube plus 17 1 square plus 18 1 and minus 8 so from here from the calculation you can try it by yourself and you found out that the answer will be equal to negative 12 so x plus 1 is not the factor of the function 
So then next, let's try with negative uh, 2. F negative 2. So 3 negative 2 cubed plus 17 negative 2 square plus 18 negative 2 and minus 8. So for this one, we have the answer that is equal to 0. And we can conclude that from here. Sorry, uh, x plus 2 is a factor of our equation so now let's perform a long division to reduce the degree of x to become a quadratic function so we can easily factorize the equation so then we have x plus 2 3x cubed plus 17x square plus 18x minus 8 Okay, so for this one, we firstly take uh, 3x square. 3x square, so we have 3x square down here plus 6x square. So this is 3x cubed. Okay, then from the subtraction, this is equal to 0. And we have 11x square plus 18x. Okay, so next we plus 11x. 11x square plus 22x. We have negative 4x minus 8. And then we take negative 4. So we have negative 4x minus 8. And it gives us no remainder. As shown in uh, by using the factor theorem. Okay, so now we have the function that is equal to x plus 2. And 3x square plus 11x minus 4. So for from the 3x square, we can factorize that x plus 2, and it becomes 3x minus 1 and x plus 4. Okay, so that is how you perform a factorization for a cubic function. Okay, now let's look at 2.3.3 about solving set equations. Okay, solving set equation. Okay, a set is called for a number that cannot be, it's not a perfect square number. For example, a square root of 2, a square root of 3, or a square root of 5. Because when you use calculator, it gives you a very long decimal number. So, it is not a perfect square number, then it is called as a set number, okay, a set equation. If uh, the square root, okay, for example, of square root 4 or square root 9, it gives you a perfect number that is equal to 2 and this one will be equal to 3. So, this kind of square root is not called as a set equation, okay. Now, let's try to solve equation that involving set. That we call it as 1 equal to 2x minus 1 minus square root of x plus 3. Okay. In order to uh, solve this kind of equation that have set, okay, we separate the set. And we put it one on one side and another one on another side. So for this one, let's take, let's make it 1 plus square root of x plus 3 equal to square root of 2x minus 1. Okay. Next method, in order to remove the set or the square root, okay, what we do is we perform square on both sides of the equation. Okay, we do square root a square on both sides of the equation. So when we expand this equation, we become 1 plus x plus 3 multiplied with 1 plus square root of x plus 3. So this one is a square root of 2x minus 1 multiplied with another square root of 2x minus 1. Okay. 
So we do the multiplication right here. So we get that 1 plus 2 square root of x plus 3 plus x plus 3. And on the other side, when we multiply a square root with a square root, so the square root can be removed. So that gives us 2x minus 1. Alright. Okay, so now we can see that we still have one square root, one square root left in the equation. So let it be 2 square root x plus 3. So for the other numbers, we uh, get it in one side. So that gives us uh, 2x minus x minus 1 minus 4. Okay, 1 plus 2 equal to 4 lah. So, we got come from that. Okay, then we have 2 square root of x plus 3 and equal to uh, x minus 5. Okay. So, in order to remove the remaining square root, okay, we do the squaring both sides method another one. One more time. Okay. We do another squaring both sides one more time. And that gives us 4 multiply x plus 3 and equal to uh, x square minus 10x plus 25. Okay, it's come from the expansion of both sides of the equations. Okay, so that, then we have 4x plus 12 equal to x square minus 10x plus 25. Okay, so now we gather all the things in one side of the equation then we have x square minus 14x plus 13 equal to 0 ok so in order to find the value of x so if x ca can be factorized so just factorize the x so x minus 1 then x minus 13 equal to 0 but if the equation cannot be factorized then you have to use the quadratic equation formula to find the value of x. Okay, so from here, we can see that we have x equal to 1 and we have also x equal to 13. So we have two values of x. So, but first we cannot make a statement that these two are the answers. But what we need to do next? is to try substitute the value back into the original equation so the original equation is equal to 1 equal to square root of 2 so we do this first for x equal to 1 2 1 minus 1 minus another square root of 1 plus 3 so we have 1 equal to square root of 1 minus square root of 4 we have 1 equal to 1 minus 2 and then 1 equal to negative 1. So this is proven that wrong that 1 is not equal to negative 1. So x equal to 1 is not the answer for value of x. Okay then we try for when x is equal to 13. Okay, we substitute 13 into the uh, equation square root 2 13 minus 1 minus 13 plus 3 so 1 equal to 26 minus 1 minus 16 so 1 equal to uh, 5 minus 4 then we have 1 equal to 1 so it is true 1 is equal to 1 then our only answer is that x will be equal to 13 ok then we write down here x equal to 13 only okay now let's do a, a few example from the reference book okay example 2.17 uh, page 47 okay, you can turn on your reference book on page 47 example 2.17 okay now let's look at for question a we have here a square root of x plus 9 equal to square root x minus 7 plus 2. 
Okay, so as I said before, to remove the square root, we do a square both side method. X plus nine square root. Sorry, square. X minus seven plus two square. So now we have x plus nine equal to x plus seven plus two x minus seven plus two another x minus seven plus four. Okay, you can try it by yourself. Draw another bracket of square root x minus seven plus two, and then you multiply each of the component in the bracket. Okay, so now let's simplify the equation that gives us a nine plus seven minus four equal to four square root of x minus seven. All right, so we square one more time. We square both sides one more time in order to remove this remaining square root. So then we have twelve over four square equal to square root of x minus 7 square. So then we have 9 equal to x minus 7. Then we have our answer x equal to 16. Okay, since we only have one answer, then x equal to 16 is the answer. Okay, you can try to substitute the value of 16 back into the equation and make sure that it equal to both sides of your equation. Okay, next, let's look at for example B. Okay, for example B, we have here, uh, sorry, so we have 5 over square root of x plus 1 minus 3 square root x plus 1 plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, so for this one, um, I bring the denominator of square root x plus 1 and multiply it with all the other components of the equation. So it, it become 5 minus 3 x plus 1 plus 2 square root of x plus 1 will be equal to 0. So we bring uh, the others on both sides and left. So we bring the others on another side and only left to 2x plus 1 equal to 3x plus 3 minus 5. So from here, to remove the square root, we square in both sides. So 2 square root x plus 1 square equal to 3 x minus 2 square. So from here we will have 4 x plus 1 equal to 9 x square minus 12 x plus 4. Okay, so we can simplify this equation. So then it will become 9 x square minus 16 x equal to 0. Okay, we, we can factorize out the x so that give us x and 9x minus 16 equal to 0. So we have two answer from this equation. So x equal to 0 and another one is x equal to 16 over 9. Okay, as what we did before, we have to test these two values of answer substitute it back into the original equation. So 5 minus 3, sorry, 5 minus 3, 0 plus 1 plus 2, square root of 0 plus 1 equal to 0. So this one is for let x equal to 0. So then we have 5 minus 3 plus 2 equal to 0, and we have 4 that is not equal to 0. Then we can say that x equal to 0 is not the answer that we are looking for. So then we have let x equal to 16 over 9. Then we have 5 minus 3, 16 over 9, plus 1, plus 2, 
16 over 9 plus 1 equal to 0. We can complete this. So 5 minus 25 over 3 plus 10 over 3 equal to 0. And finally, we have the answer that is 0 equal to 0. So equal on both sides. So our only answer is that x equal to 16 over 9.